Ben uh, lost his rag a bit early on in that last round. He did. I think he was just a little bit unhappy with the head work there. Gives him a little taste himself. And then has a, a shout about him. The referee had to have a word with him just to control things a bit. But he's just a little bit unhappy with use of the head, I think. There's a nice, fast little right hand from Barry Jones. Just moving around well. Watch, he just, his hands are down there. Just finds a little gap as Judson's walking in. He brought his hand right up there as he tried to get out of the way and that was a good nice quick little shot but i think judson just got the better of that last round so did you yeah i just seen your scorecard here you still got one point in it Glenn, huh? yes i still got there one point for jones but judson's looking strong just coming back into it a bit in that round now this is the time of the fight where judson would really be expecting to take over this is the period where he probably felt he would wear Jones down, but will he? Been a terrific performance by Barry Jones, this isn't it? It, it really has. He's never really, he's never willed it. Every time he's looked a little tired, he's, he's just picked it back up and got boxing again. And some nice counters, but he's had to work so hard just moving up in weight. So it's, it's been a, a real good fight for Barry Jones. He's worked well. How are those three judges scoring it? One of them is an American who may well be giving plenty of points to Judson for his walk forward aggression. They like that, the American judges. That's right. They do seem to be just moved a little bit more for the aggression. And that could be depending the fight a little bit at this point. For me, John, just a slight lead with a, the nicer, cleaner boxing. But it's it's very, very close, you would feel. We've also got Dave Paris, British judge, and uh, a gentleman from Italy doing the scoring here. Good stuff again from Jones. The body punch got through all right. Jones has got the, the Welsh fans cheering again with some nice boxing. And that's eye-catching stuff for Judson. He does manage to block a few of them in that combination. Now those were scoring punches from Barry Jones. Most of them got through. And he knew going into this fight that he was not going to knock out Judson. He just doesn't knock people out. His only stoppage win was on cuts against Greg Upton. And that was back in 1993. But I think he's, he surprised me how well he's kept his boxing together under pressure and kept his concentration against a non-stop attack from Judson. But a non-stop attack by a man who hasn't got a big punch. Yes, that, that, that's one thing, but he's very strong and he's very, I think his punches are hurtful without being spectacular, Judson. Good work again from Jones. Keeping these combinations coming in. That's another good round for Jones. And Judson seems a bit rattled as he goes back to the corner. Maybe his plan is not quite working. As I said at the start of that round, I think he feels this is his time in the fight, but that wasn't his time. Yes, I think he's probably getting a little bit frustrated now at the fact that I think he would have thought that Jones would be starting to tire now. And Jones is still throwing lots of punches. You see, look at the combinations. He's got his hands up and he's blocking a lot of them, Judson. But I think they're starting to frustrate him a little bit that Jones is still throwing punches back at this stage in the fight. That was a good round, I thought, for Barry Jones. Did some of his best work. Thrown over 700 punches in this contest as Barry Jones. Uh, he's landed only a few more, though, than Judson. His economy rate not so good. It might be tight on the scorecards. For what it's worth, I've got Jones three points ahead. What about you, Glenn? I've got Jones in a, a two-point lead. 
But um, as you said, that it's how the judges see this with the aggression, because it has been it has been constant aggression, and that's how I've got it. Just the, the two points there. He's definitely trying to pick up the tempo in this round, Judson. He may sense that he needs a big finish. Typically good and unfussy performance again from referee John Coyle who's had over 50 world title fights in his time. Judson is out of range with his jab. He's still... Trying, sorry, sorry he's trying so hard to, to close the distance down, but Jones is working well, and the feet, the legs are still, are still doing well. He's obviously done such a lot of road work. He must have almost run a marathon in there tonight. They've got the London one tomorrow, of course. He's been on the run a bit in this round and not done so much work himself, Barry Jones. I just wonder whether he feels he's just got to stay on his feet and keep out of harm's way. That may be a mistake because the judges may not agree with our estimation of the way things have been going. Yes, he's looking a little bit more sparingly for his punches, just looking to try and make Judson miss before coming back with a clean counter. Been a good determined effort by Judson in this round. He's starting to get through with those right hands, three of them thudded home in a row there. Some good body punches as well. Big effort from Judson in this round. He's winning this session all right. And the movement just stopping now. A courageous fight back from the ropes there from Jones. And Barry Jones showing in that interchange that he's still has plenty left in there. He really did fill up the petrol tank before he came out there tonight. He really did. He showed terrific character, a good movement, and coming back with good combinations in this fight, Jones. Watching somewhere at ringside is, well, he's in the corner. In fact, helping out his dad, Dennis. He'll be living every second, helps out with the training. Judson's round. What do you think? It was a very close one. I, I think, I think maybe Jones just nicked it, but it was, it was very, very close. A hard one, that one to score. Yeah, I thought Judson maybe did the best in the first two minutes. That was that was hard. Maybe it was even. I gave it to Judson, but uh, on my scorecard, I think Judson needs to win win the last round big to get this uh, pull this around. Yes, for me, I think Jones, um, Judson needs to stop with some good work from, from Jones. Nice boxing. Again, it, it depends how the judges score because the, the, the pressure with the legs was from Judson. He was closing the gap all the time, but I was I was pleased with Jones. His character and his work right there and the fact that he kept coming back with good combinations. Whatever happens in this contest, I tell you what, Barry Jones has come of age, really, I think, as a pro fighter tonight. I think his reputation soars whichever way the verdict goes. Yes, he showed tremendous technique and good boxing ability and good character to keep working. Three-point margin for Jones on Glenn's scorecard. I've got it two points now, having given the last round to Judson. If we're right, Jones just needs to stay out of trouble, but we might not be right because you could certainly argue over the scoring of some of the rounds, particularly the earlier ones. Jones has shown no real signs of his effort drying up, though Judson has stepped it up in the last couple of rounds. He's throwing more leather, got through with a left hook there, but look at the response from the Welshman. He's been a bit of a revelation tonight, hasn't he? He really has, and he, he's needed to do that because I think Judson would just overwhelm him, but he keeps coming back with good shots now. The crowd really appreciated that combination. 
No shots from Judson hitting the gloves. He does get through, but once again, the flashy combinations of Barry Jones, who will not be tamed. Like it. The last punch of that combination is a good right hand from Jones. I can sense that whatever way this goes, you're going to get some fierce arguments from the opposing corner. Yes, I'm sure you are, but I don't think no argument from the fans because it really has been a, a good fight to watch. Excellent value for money contest, this. It may be one of the junior belts, this IBF Intercontinental Championship, but it's produced good fight here for both these fellows I think we've got to really give them credit for how hard they've worked to get in condition for this bout tremendous tribute to their conditioning and preparation both of them and the crowd beginning to rise to them as the seconds tick down on the top left of your picture there half a minute left in this one and again four five punch combination from jones judson who's never taken a backward step all night he sneers and he leers at jones this is going to go to the three judges and it'll be Fascinating to hear how they've scored it. That was a terrific contest. It really was. Superb. They both lift up their arms. Aloft in triumph. They both think they've won it. I knew we'd get this. <laughs> Frank Warren, a man usually with a pretty firm opinion. I wonder what he thinks, but... Uh, his opinion on this occasion will not matter. Well, for me, a, a tough one to score, but I lean towards Jones. The last round was just tremendous to watch. They both worked so hard. It really was very, very good. But I give it a, an even last round, so for me, Jones is still winning by that three-point margin. But in a cracking contest, Judson really, as he always does, came forward all the time, throwing lots of punches. There it is, three rounds for me, but the judges are busy working it out for themselves. I've got it one point to Jones in the end, but uh, I think we're going to hear maybe some differing scorecards. It just depends what you're looking for, really, what you're watching, whether you like those flashy combinations, the light, lighter punching, albeit maybe of Barry Jones, but he put up a terrific effort. There's his dad, Dennis, wiping him down. He must be very, very proud of his son, and rightly so. Judson just gave his usual solid, gritty, durable performance. No denting him. Never hurt from beginning to end. Walk forward pressure. Who has prevailed? We shall soon know. The scorecards being collated you've been through all of this glenn uh, this is agony isn't it if you're a fighter yeah especially when there's so much on the line for the for the winner here or the loser so it's it, these are hard moments for, for any fighter but in a big fight like this it's it's very difficult indeed you're really worried at this point i hear it's close let's find out let's go up to uh, mc mike goodall i think he's ready for us about now ladies and gentlemen uh, we have a split decision. Judge Dave Paris scores it 113, 116 in favor of Barry Jones. Judge Julio Bassi scores it 115, 113 in favor of Peter Johnson. This one will decide it. Judge Hilda Whittaker scores it 115 to 113 in favor of the winner and new Barry Jones has got it. Barry Jones. Barry Jones on a split decision. The Italian judge went for Judson, but Barry Jones given it by three rounds on the scorecard of British Judge Dave Paris by two on the scorecard of the American. The Italian had it two rounds to Judson. We thought it was on the closest side, but 
What a terrific night and performance for Barry Jones, and your heart goes out.